guys welcome to another episode of the ek daily driver track car build and in this episode we're doing the very popular type r mini cooper big brake upgrade now you can probably get away with this on a very very tight budget you can get basic rotors you can probably get used calipers basic brake lines or your existing brake lines uh, and basic brake pads uh, from any auto parts store. Now what I did is I got remanufactured brake calipers, I went and got Hawk pads, I got centric coated rotors, and the car already has stainless steel braided brake lines. So what I wanna do today is I wanna walk you guys through what it takes to get this brake upgrade done and kinda give you guys several options along the way. I also wanna compare them to the EX brakes that this car had. Now this car is not an EX, it's actually a DX, but I got the EX brakes from the last car which, uh, which was crashed if you guys would have seen that in a previous uh, video. Yeah, I kind of want to compare sizes of things, weights. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through what I have here on the table and then uh, kind of look a little further into what the differences are between EX brakes and this Type R upgrade. Okay, so here I have the Type R brake caliper on the left and the EX caliper on the right. As you can see, the Type R caliper is considerably larger than the EX caliper probably a little bit heavier. I actually have a little luggage scale that I'm going to use to uh, weigh the two and see what the differences are in weight but yeah it's a much larger caliper. I don't remember what the caliper bores are off the top of my head but I'll go ahead and put those on the screen uh, and I want to go ahead and grab the weight of each um, of each caliper and see what the weight difference is. I just have a little luggage scale here zeroed out so it looks like the EX caliper weighs 9.1 pounds the type r caliper weighs 11 pounds now that's a considerable amount of weight between the two and unfortunately that's unsprung weight so it will affect the dynamics of the front end a little bit uh, especially since we are going with a bigger rotor as well and bigger pad so this whole setup is going to be heavier um, but hopefully it makes up for it in braking performance these calipers are from a 2000-2001 Acura Integra Type R. I'm sure there's some Accords, I believe, that are the same caliper. But if you go to your local auto parts store, you should be able to find a remanufactured set of uh, ITR calipers. That's what we have here. This is a Hawk HP Plus brake pad. Now, you don't have to go with this specific brake pad. You can get pretty much anything from an auto parts store. You get these from a 2004 to 2008 Acura TSX. The brake pads that I had on the car already are also HP Plus, but these are EX pads and then these are the TSX pads. Now, as you can see, they're not too much different. The Acura TSX pads do have a considerable amount of uh, extra material here on the edges. Um, so they are, they are a bit of a bigger pad, <clears throat> which is good because you have more surface area for the pad to grab onto the rotor. Now these uh, Hawk HP Plus pads, are pretty aggressive they do create some squeaking and they do produce a lot of brake dust but i mean i'm cool with that it uh it works pretty good on the street i drove those ex ones for for quite uh for a little bit of time on the street and they work great even in uh, cold temperatures but they do perform pretty well uh in high heat so i wanted to go with the hp plus pads again and lastly we have the rotors here these are from a 2007 base model mini cooper i know that's a little strange to be putting a Mini Cooper rotor on a Honda, but someone out there found out that a base model Mini Cooper 280 millimeter rotor works great with the setup. It has to be a 280 millimeter uh, rotor for this whole thing to work because you, if you get the smaller one, it could have some overhang. Don't get the Cooper Works rotor, that's a bigger rotor. Get the 280 millimeter. I had the same centric rotors, the EX equivalent on the car previously. They were great, and I really think that these will perform out on track pretty well especially with the uh with the hawk pads because those pads are pretty demanding so um let's compare the size difference between the mini cooper rotor and the ex rotor now here you can see the size difference between the ex rotor and the uh, mini cooper rotor and it's a considerably uh it's a considerable difference in size between the two i'm not sure if the thickness is any different but uh in diameter the mini cooper rotor is quite larger uh, which is a good thing because you're getting more thermal mass to carry on more heat and dissipate it a little more and then you're getting more leverage on the axis of rotation for the um, for the wheel which means you get more stopping power in that sense as well so that is why a bigger rotor is worth it 
Now, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that you need EX spindles to make this work. Now, I already have EX spindles on this car, even though it's not an EX. I got the EX spindles from my previous car, which got wrecked, and you would have seen that in a previous video. But uh, when I got this car, I transferred the EX spindles over to this car, and that is a requirement to run this brake upgrade. Now, you can get EX spindles at a junkyard all day. I think Integra ones work as well even on Civics. And I also recommend since you have the spindle out of the car to go ahead and replace the wheel bearing and hub uh, as I did in a previous video. This brake upgrade will work on 92 to 2000 on the Civics. It should work on Integra's as well. And like I said, you need Mini Cooper rotors, TSX pads, and Integra Type R calipers along with the EX spindles to make this work. Now some of you might be asking, well why not go with a a proper big brake upgrade like a Willwood stop tech or spoon big brake upgrade and that's mainly uh, cost I mean this is a budget brake upgrade you can get away with auto parts store replacement parts um, remanufactured components and get away with doing this brake upgrade on the cheap I did get some fancier stuff but it's still considerably less money than you know one of those bigger brake upgrades and this should be actually more than what I need as far as braking performance. With the power level that I have and the tracks I'll be going to, uh, this should be able to perform beyond the braking requirements needed from, from the car. Now one thing you guys need to remember is you can throw the biggest brake upgrade as you want uh, in one of these cars, but in any car actually, but none of that would matter unless you have a tire that can handle that kind of brake. Your, your tires are your limiting factor as far as braking, cornering, and acceleration. So make sure you have a tire that won't just lock up on you out on track. You need a tire that can handle that kind of uh, braking force. Now I'm running a 205 50 15 Federal RSRR on all four corners. Um, I ran these tires on my Fox Body Mustang out on track uh, many times and I love the way it performed. They're a good budget tire and they're sticky enough to handle the braking force from this brake upgrade. I am a little nervous to see if the wheels are going to fit um, over these brakes. I really hope they do. If not, I'll have to buy new wheels. So yeah, I guess I'll find out uh, shortly. So yeah, guys, once again, TSX pads, Mini Cooper rotors, ITR calipers. Now I will go ahead and leave links to everything I used on this car down below so you guys can do this brake upgrade as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start installing these brakes and see if these wheels fit. So I went ahead and test fitted my wheels on this brake setup and unfortunately my wheels will not fit. The wheels contact the bracket here and the wheel weights contact the edge of the caliper. I don't want to grind any of this down. I don't want to compromise its, its strength, its structural integrity, so I don't want to grind any of this. So I could put ARP extended studs here and then get like a hub centric wheel spacer to space the wheel out and that could fix the the contact on the uh, on the caliper bracket and then maybe get the wheels rebalanced to have the weights closer to the inside of the wheel that way it doesn't um, interfere there uh, so I could do that I'm not sure if that's gonna work so I guess I will pick this video back up when I have a solution all right guys it's a couple days later and after a quick search on amazon i was able to find the solution that will make these wheels fit on these brakes and that is arp extended studs matched with five millimeter hubs and trick spacers so i already test fitted the spacers just to make sure that the wheels will clear the caliper brackets and they do clear and luckily enough even the wheel weights clear just barely but they do i'll show you guys that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to disassemble the brakes that i installed the other day 
and then I'm going to knock out the stock studs, install these ARP studs so that I still have a good amount of thread on the uh, lug nuts. Install the spacers, install the wheels, and everything should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. So I got the hub out. It wasn't pretty. I wouldn't recommend doing this at all, but I don't really have any other option right now. I want to get this car running. So I ended up hammering it out from the backside with an impact socket. The race did come with it. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, I wish it didn't, but it did. So that means I'm going to have to be very, very careful about reinstalling this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get these studs out, get the ARP studs back in and gently reinstall this hub into place. All right, guys, that's it. This is the Mini Cooper Type R big brake upgrade. I'm super happy with it. Some of the steps that I took aren't ideal, like hammering out the hub, but I was very careful and methodical about it, and I'm pretty confident that the bearing is just fine. Don't worry about that. All that's left is to bleed the brakes, so these wheels are gonna come off again, and we're gonna clean everything up uh, when that time comes. We still have to bet the pads in, and when that's, uh, when that's over, then this is completely done. I can't wait to see how these brakes perform. I'm pretty sure it's gonna make a big difference. This is more than enough stopping power for my power level and my needs. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. I will be there all the time to be able to answer any questions you guys might have. I'll be sure to link everything that I used to do this upgrade down in the description below. So yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. Please like and subscribe, and remember, function, momentum, grip.